Multiplicative Inverse in Modular Arithmetic Given a positive integer a, its multiplicative inverse is b, if and only if a times b is equal to, no, a times b is congruent to 1 modulo n. Again, we can use uh, two equivalent definitions for this. A times B is congruent to 1 modulo and if and only if A, B or, or A times B minus 1 divided by N is an integer. It is an exact division. And another way of looking at this using our Euclidean division theorem is A times B is congruent to 1 modulo N if and only if A times B is equal to n times q plus 1. So we shall look for that integer b. Given an integer a, we shall look for that integer b so that, so that when n, when n divides a times b, it will give a remainder of 1. Find the multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7. 3 times x is congruent to 1 modulo 7. So you call this linear congruence equation. Okay, congruence. Because this one is our symbol for congruence. This is not equal sign. And by the way, I forgot to write this phrase. Find the multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7 in, okay, in the set. So which among this is a multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7? Is it 1? Is 1 the multi multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7? No. Is it 2? No, because 3 times 2, because 3 times 2 is congruent to 6 modulo 7. We are looking for that uh, integer so that the product is congruent to 1 modulo 7. Is it 3? Is 3 the multiplicative inverse of 3? No. Because 3 times 3 is 9. When you divide 9 by 7, the remainder is 2. And so, 3 times 3 is congruent to 2 modulo 7. Is it 4? Is 4 the multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7? No, again, because 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 divided by 7 has a remainder of 5. So 3 times 4 is congruent to 5 modulo 7. Is it 5? Is it 5? Yes. 5 is the multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7. Why is that so? Because 3 times 5 is 15. And when we divide 15 by 7, the remainder is 1. That is what we are looking for. So, 5 is the multiplicative uh, inverse of 3 under multiplication modulo 7. How about 6? Who knows? Maybe there are 2 multiplicative inverses for 3 modulo 7. Well, 3 times 6 is 18, and 18, 18 divided by 7 is equal to 2 and a remainder of 4. So this is not a multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7. So the only multiplicative inverse of 3 modulo 7 in the set, okay, in the set containing 1, 2, 3, is 5, okay? Fill in the table using multiplication modulo 5. Find the multiplicative inverse of these integers, 1, 2, 3, and 4, under multiplication modulo 5. 1 times 1 is 1. So that means 1 is the multiplicative inverse of 1 modulo 5. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. 
Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. When we divide six by five, the remainder is one. So two times six is congruent to one modulo modulo five. Two times four is eight. Four times two is congruent to three modulo five. How about three times two? It's six. And six is congruent to one modulo five. Three times three is nine. It is congruent to four modulo five. Three times four is twelve. It's congruent to two modulo five. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. And eight is congruent to three modulo five. Four times three. Four times three is twelve. And 12 is congruent to 2 modulo 5, okay? 12, let's do it. 12 divided by 5. How about 4? 4 times 4. What is 4 times 4 modulo 5? Well, guess what? It's 1. It's congruent to 1 modulo 5. So what conclusions can we make from this table? The multiplicative inverse of 1 modulo 5 is 1. The multiplicative inverse of uh, 2 modulo 5 is 3. The multiplicative inverse of 3 is 2 modulo 5. The multiplicative inverse of 4 modulo 5 is 4. 